All of these people are gathered in a theater for a watch party that most of us would never do. Yeah, but what you're looking at really is a true Nashville Halloween time tradition. <laughs> Scary though. <laughs> Our Forrest Sanders takes us there. It's a Saturday night in Hillsborough Village. Something's going on at the Belcourt Theater. It's the event of the year for me. And they're all about to be let in by the Belcourt Zach Hall. 12 Hours of Terror is an all-night horror marathon that goes from 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. There's a seat in here waiting for the TV host of Dr. Gangrene's Sanitarium, Larry Underwood. It's an endurance test, and it's a lot of fun. There's a seat for writer and actress to Shauna McQuiston. One of my favorite times of the year. And there's a seat for former Vanderbilt lecturer Ken Cosner. So there's a certain collegiality to it. All these people don't know what scary movies they're seeing. The Belcourt's lips are sealed. Hello. It's just surprise films on the screen for 12 hours. Caffeine helps. Usually is a slasher. Italian giallos. One or two oddball selections. There's some Nightmare on Elm Street kind of Halloween stuff. The event now in its 12th year. How does something like this get started? Someone approached the Belcourt with the idea. So Jim Ridley is the longtime editor, film critic for the Nashville scene. He was an incredible writer. Jim was a friend of mine. Pretty much the only picture I've got of me and Jim. So he was integral in putting this thing together. This is, I believe, from 2015. Me and Jim, a good 11 hours into it. I mean, I, I feel pretty lucky to be in Nashville because I think there are a lot of really talented critics here in town. You see, Jim famously loved all movies, but especially. Big fan of all types of horror movies. One of his primary goals was to develop a, a film culture. The enthusiasm carried him through even the most insane movie watching experiences. You know, as with all things, you never really know what you've got until it's gone. In 2016, Jim Ridley died after a cardiac event. He was 50. The, the whole community lost a friend. Yeah. But just past a lobby bearing his name, something continues that Jim helped to begin. Oh, he would love it. The bride. <laughs> the spirit of 12 Hours of Terror very much mirrors a lot of the spirit of Jim Ridley. It's a fun one. It's not a snoozer. <laughs> it's part four of a film franchise. It was made right here in Nashville, Tennessee. I am, of course, talking about Ernest Scared Stupid. To know the importance of these 12 hours, look no further than Ken. 2012, I had a stroke. It was more than a health scare. I almost died, but that was in August, but I still managed to make it 12 hours of terror. It's a reaffirmation of living. There's something about the sheer madness of an undertaking like this, where you're gonna go sit with a bunch of strangers in a dark theater for 12 hours straight and watch just the zaniest stuff out there. It's better than a, a graduate school in horror cinema. Sunday morning. The ones who made it the whole 12 hours come into the light. It makes me proud that Jim started this. This uh, festival is part of his legacy. Right. Give me the tradition, man. You got got to be here. <laughs> Ready till 2024. Thankful for this monster he helped create. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jim. I'm Forrest Sanders, News Channel 5. I love their passion. Would you do it? No, but I love their passion. <laughs> I know, Everybody's I love to something. come out into the light yeah. after all of that. Happy <laughs> Halloween to them. Let's go over to Steve.